hi guys welcome to or welcome back to expose and if i'm welcoming you back and you like it here i'd love it if you stayed and subbed one sorry i've been missing two i was sick i was just getting over it and now i feel just as bad um the thing with the coffee right going back to that the following night i thought well it can't happen two nights in a row put new coffee in the tub and the lid just came away with my hand it didn't suction like it was supposed to so I thought right I'm cleaning up properly this time so I pushed the chest of drawers in front of the door so now I'm in the room on my own with a big heavy piece of furniture in front of the door so if I wanted anyone to come in they can't decide to start cleaning up the fucking dust busters out of charge and it doesn't work when it's plugged in to charge and it's like for fuck's sake so i have a stupid little stick vacuum the other side of the room that i used to use i get that out that doesn't work either the thing doesn't turn anymore when you switch it on it just makes a grinding noise so i sat on the bed for 20 minutes trying to fucking fix it could i no so then i had to get down on but i can't get down on my hands and knees because if i get down on my hands and knees i can't fucking get up again so i'm bent over scooping coffee up with baby wipes and then at one point i stood up to put it in the bin and my legs were just going from under me and it was like shit if i collapse here no one can get in to get me up because i've put the fucking chest of... and it took forever to clean it all up and then i couldn't move for the next two days then i ended up with ibs then it's our anniversary and we can't fucking celebrate properly and then I'm just starting to feel normal and I'm like I've got tons of stuff to catch up on because Lisa's done three videos so I need to do them and I get a letter from the DWP for those of you in the UK you'll understand for my American people I'm sorry this is going to make no sense but after years of receiving fuck all from them they decided to give me the minimum of mobility a few years ago saying that they didn't think I could plan an out uh, a trip couldn't plan a trip I can't go on a trip why would I fucking plan it anyway so it's like 20 pound a week or some such fucking nonsense it came up for a review so I thought right in the review I'm going to write down absolutely everything that was lied about in my assessments and try and get it sorted so I spent two months filling out fucking forms for the dwp taking pictures of the things i have to use making sure i had fucking dotted every i and crossed every fucking t sent it all off to them by email because i finally got them to agree to deal with me by email instead of letter got emails back saying everything's fine we've received your thing blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and then today i receive uh, an email from them saying oh we totally understand why you couldn't fill out the form and send it back to us so what we're going to do is we're just going to continue paying you the pittance that we have been paying you what what do you mean i didn't send you the forms now jane you'll get it anybody else that's got fibro that suffers with ibs which is all of us you'll get it the minute something like that happens I'm like a fucking headless chicken. What? What do you mean? What? 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 Fucking blood pressure through the roof. Throwing up. IBS. It's coming out both ends. Thanks to this one fucking email from them telling me I didn't send them the stuff. I spent two months fucking working on and sent them. And if you argue with them, they'll say, oh, no, you didn't. I've got emails, replies from you. Do you know what they've done? In the meantime, in between me sending stuff back and them replying to me, they've changed email. Because I sent something the other day and this woman said, oh, I'll answer this today. But in future, can you email so and so because we've changed our email? So whoever was on the first email hasn't communicated with whoever's on the fucking second email. So my stuff sitting in the ether somewhere and they're saying I haven't sent it. Plus, when, when ever in the history of fucking creation has the DWP ever said, oh, we understand why you haven't replied to us? Never. You don't reply to them, 
you don't get your stuff back fucking days before the deadline they're like oh well we didn't get your stuff tough shit you're not getting anything so why that attitude fuckers so i've sent them umpteen emails saying thanks very much now i'm as sick as a dog thanks to you and here's the proof of the fact that i did fucking send you stuff in february and then they're saying oh we'll keep your payments the same and we owe you from march to may or whatever no you fucking owe me from january you stop paying me in january I fucking hate this system. I really do. And then there's people out there saying, why don't you get up and get a job? Do you think? Do you honestly fucking think if I could go out to work, I'd be putting up with all this bollocks? I'm on the verge of killing someone. I just said to Jed, they're lucky this isn't America and we, you know, we're allowed to carry because I'd be making a little fucking trip up there. What do you mean I didn't send you anything? <sighs> so now I have to wait and see if they answer this fucking email. Did I... Hang on a minute. I just want to check that I got a reply to say that they received the emails I've just sent them. Hang on. Where's my button? No, they don't send automatic replies. So now they can say they didn't receive my email, even though the only way I can contact them now is by email. Uh, I've got a stray hair and it's annoying the shit out of me. to this ignore that susan her things you can pass on comment piss me off she's assuming that if she doesn't like a product product nobody else will exactly she doesn't seem to get that what doesn't look good on her will look great on someone else or that just because someone doesn't work for her or something doesn't work for her doesn't mean it won't work for anyone else she really is a moron class a moron debbie do why is she always striving so hard to look like a celebrity? She doesn't look like any of them. Definitely needs to colour match her face to the rest of her. It's like two different bodies. Vicky, have patience, Jules. I've been watching you from Greece. I bet it's lovely in Greece right now. I wish I could have patience, Vicky, but I'm on the edge of fucking exploding at the moment, so... Rebecca, yes to the lips. I've noticed that the past few videos she has those small eyes, slim nose and those lips are just way too much. Jules, you always crack me up but lately your witty snark has had me dying. Oh, I'm so happy I'm giving you a smile. Baddie one shoe. It, that always gets me. I want to say baddie two shoes. Why is she a bad person? I'm unfamiliar with her law. Right. Um... I will find an, uh, oh, between Vibro and the DWP, my brain is fucking mashed. I will find a link. I'll do it now. There's uh, a video that I did that, um, says some of the, the shit she's done. Hi guys. And I will, um, it's quicker for me to find it than you because I know what I'm looking for. Plus, there's loads more since this video looking down her nose at people that are less fortunate than her. Wow, how long ago did I do that video? I'm thinking that she's within her rights to charge people $25 a month to talk shite at them. Basically, all she's doing in her thing, Patreon, is regurgitating what she's heard in somebody else's fucking video. It's not even her own thoughts. Oh, lordy lord, when was it?
three months later. I need that meme, don't I? That SpongeBob meme. <laughs> Seven years later. Basically, she's a narc that doesn't give a shit about anybody but herself and anyone below her she just looks down her nose at because she's a lucky girl. She just thinks everything and it works out perfectly. This is going to be a choppy video. I'm going to be up and down. I don't know how many times now. See, did they, they don't... They don't see what their fucking brown envelopes and fucking emails do to people. They don't see how sick it makes us. And it's like, oh, we're trying to fucking get rid of fraud. The only people committing fraud are those that aren't fucking sick. When somebody gives up on their claim... They should get their money because it's proof that they're too fucking sick to jump through the hoop. You bastards are making us jump through. Oh, for the love of God. Where is it? Have I gone past it? Hey, there we go. Didn't realise it was that long ago I did it. So there's lo loads more since this. But this is a start. Ashley, coming clean, I have bought a few things on her recommendation that were good for me. Estee Lauder EE -E cream, don't make it anymore. Bronze Goddess perfume, I got Bronze Goddess perfume because of her and I really like it. More recently, the Kerastase clarifying line. Sheila Fajal hoops, I like the coloured ones, but I've never used her links or codes. I will watch her on Invidious, then search YouTube for other creators' codes for these products. Good for you, actually. Yeah, I'm not saying everything she says is, is a con, do you know what I mean? But anything that's bringing her in money, that's what she'll do. Barbara, she's no... She's no ignorant that she thinks so so she's so ignorant that she thinks shampoo heat protectant and conditioner gave her more hair i know ashley i'm not body not a body language expert but she couldn't even look at the camera when she said i don't tell stories i know i.e lie to the audience pants on fire everything on fire she's one big liar but she won't admit it Sorry. Jane, how's that for a thumbs up, Jules? You're hilarious. So here I am thinking I'll sneak a, sneak a wee drink of juice. All is quiet. Then in the middle, the finger went up. Fail. <laughs> You're going to have to get yourself. I, I had one for a while because I kept missing my mouth. One of them big bibs with the, the cup at the bottom that catches everything you don't put in your mouth you need one of that mind you if you're spitting stuff out that's not going to help is it i'm sorry jane elizabeth how many interviews have you been to lardy never managed to get a job narcissists hate to work but prefer to depend on others don't they though she did get one job and then she walked out because it was too difficult after telling them that she could do anything what a dreadful outfit looks like a clown those great paws touching everything. I know, it's so annoying. And did you see the one where she was looking for a journal and she was going around the shop licking her finger and going... Nah. Somebody bought those journals after you, you grubby mare. No name. Teflon is toxic when ingested. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be bothering her though, no name. Just like Lardy, pure poison. Well said, Elizabeth. Hannah, is this woman nuts? Poor thing. Well, she's evil. I'm not sure about nuts. Yes, yeah, she's totally insane. She was sectioned involuntarily many times, but escaped with the help of Tammy. <laughs> Tammy bought her a disguise to put on and get out. It was funny, wasn't it, Deb? Boho chic. Chic, rather. She's legit. The oldest scammer on YouTube. Fake as fuck. Can't stand her. 
that sums her up really doesn't it subject oh subbed bring on more sully thank you very much boho chic how about her taking away from the needy at the food banks she's discussed him that's just vile either people are I can't think straight. Getting stuff off the needy or looking down on the needy. One of the two. And it's so fucking annoying. Elizabeth. Back to Lardy. It's not just you. Thank you. She's driving without consideration for others. Here she'd be pulled over and licence revoked for six months and fined on the spot. If the fine is not paid within a week, the fine doubles. Good. I'm glad there's somewhere that I can go and feel safe in the knowledge that drivers are being fucking looked at and not being allowed to do whatever the fuck they want. People have said to me that most Americans drive like her. How do they get away with that? What is the point of giving people a license when they... Dear manager, how come you drink while watching and we can't double standards? Ah, but see, the thing is, when the management has a drink, she stopped the video. And I can't say anything funny while I'm drinking. <laughs> You're too funny, Elizabeth. Have I been forgetting to do this? Help. Peg, is it just me or is it weird that people have become so okay with getting on social media without too many clothes? I know, it seems to be a thing, doesn't it? And it's like, you're not even young and pretty. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You're not even someone we want to look at. Lol, it's not just you, Peg. No modesty or shame. No, they don't, Elizabeth. None of them. Elizabeth, arthritis, cramps, fibromyalgia and the list goes on. Limpy lardy. That's the thing. If she had it, I'd feel concerned for her. But she doesn't. She hears someone else mention it and then she uses it to try and get money out of people. Don't forget her sciatica or her bursitis or her shingles. Or we could write a book just full of things that Lardy says she has that she hasn't. Zoe, those trousers were awful. How could she go out in public like that? She thought she looked beautiful. Bonnie, lol, I think she said she ate wild turkey, not raw. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> and that makes me feel a lot better. Well, this is interesting. I thought she said on the video that she had no credit. Now she has a Macy's credit card. I think it's her daughter's. Jules, you're on a de definite roll today. So funny. Google is a great place to find out about different medications. Just ask Laurie Beth. Personally, I don't want to know all the side effects. Exactly. If I have no choice but to take it, that's it. I don't read the side effects. But if I can do without it. Deb, she borrows her daughter's Macy's card. There we go. Think she said I've got her card. She has no checking account or credit card due to fraud charges. Elizabeth, seeing Slender half naked is really scary, isn't it, though? There's no way I'd go on like that. With, no. Though, Tammy, those hammer pants. And she did the dance and everything. <laughs> Elizabeth, no way she's a Capricorn. They're disciplined and highly organised, plus honest to a fault. That's you, Jules, my son, too. Thank you, Elizabeth. Send love to your son from me. It's, they say as well about Capricorns that we're born old and grow young. You're right, she's a Sagittarius. Yeah. My mother's a Sagittarius. I see so much of my mum in her. It's like, nah. She's built like Lardy, a sturdy tank. I know. She should be a long-distance lorry driver. Use a tow. Total lack of a belly button. Except where was it? Was it just me? I couldn't see a belly button. Very strange. She's an alien. Bonnie. Oh my gosh, those pants are horrible. Monkey fingers. She can't leave anything alone. I know, it's annoying. It's like you don't need to touch everything. And she says that as well. Oh, I have to touch everything. No, you don't. Elizabeth. Jules. She's no temptation. Even knocked out. 
don't worry about her narcissists love having different ailments and making sure we all know about them it's quite it's sad isn't it though elizabeth fruit flies there's no fruit in here why are they in here if i had fruit in here i'd say fair enough it's gone now anyway there was only the one it's fucked off somewhere so i'm very happy about that jean concerning the macy's credit card it belongs to jill her daughter she doesn't have one because of bad credit nsf checks and her criminal record she pays her rent with money orders as she doesn't have a bank account and she's proud to say that online and let everybody know church of pos just remember that this was over a year ago she has since put on extra poundage since then hope she doesn't do a follow-up yeah I, I i won't cover it if she does she talked about doing a follow-up no taylor we don't need that we do not need to see her in the nude anin she's talking about my dazalam a hypnotic drug so you don't remember i it usually sends you to sleep i had it with a colonoscopy and was wide awake you're obviously um you've obviously i don't i don't know what i want to say you're very strong that it doesn't affect you is the tldr of the word that i'm trying to think of that i can't think of because my head isn't my own today see i think that's scary that there's a drug that you don't remember great for children while the parents are with them the entire time and make sure that nothing that shouldn't happen happens so that they don't know about fucking um oh lord operations or anything like that and they don't have flashbacks but no i don't like the sound of that at all i'd rather rather be wide awake i was actually i don't know if anyway when i had tech help he was an emergency c-section and they'd given me um an epidural but they hadn't double checked before i went down and it had only taken down one side and i felt them cut me open i would rather that than have a drug that made me forget everything alan elder she even cheats when it comes to measuring her arms i know many people who have dieted i don't know anyone who's measured their biceps and thighs also she doesn't know how to correctly get a bus measurement her goal was 140 four years later she's closer to 240 she gave a preview of upcoming video where she opens birthday gifts from susan scott later when they had a falling out surely glenda's fault glenda removed and lightly disposed of disposed of Gifts from generous Susan Scott, a.k.a. Sully has no friends, just like Lardy. They're absolutely carbon copies of each other. Mitz Hackett, she is svelte compared to now. She just got a huge Instacart delivery from Wheel, so she is a hog in heaven again. I want to have a chat with Will. Really? Narcs don't have friends. Merle is no exception. So true, Deb. Poor, but can anyone contact Will and have a word with him and tell him that she's a con woman? Will, if you're watching, drop me an email at chat to expose at AOL.com. Yay, Zoe, another Capricorn. We'll have to start a club. <laughs> Tammy, I couldn't spend any time with her. Not one minute. She's so embarrassing. Lardy is she's that friend that you'd never take back to your house to meet your mum or any of your other friends bonnie oh please her discount could it be sticky finger discount it's very scary the way she drives i hate the way she drives fuck it that's how we fell out was me saying that she drove like a twat oh, it would be a sticky finger discount bonnie that's how she got everything it's funny how when she left diff eyeglasses she had like 40 pairs of glasses in her car wendy la dasify oh my god how i needed that laugh today many thanks makes procrastinating with moving definitely worth it oh are you moving are you going somewhere nice i so want to get out of this fucking house so i read just before i came on somebody won 
the Amaze thing. They do this uh, raffle in the UK where you can win a really posh house and it's like a £2 million house. And he won it and he said he's selling it. And it's like, yeah, that's what I'd do because I'd never be able to keep up with the upkeep of a £2 million fucking house. That would never happen. But then it says, oh, he had a big house and he was worried that he might have to downsize um, to help his children. But now he's got... The... And it's like, you never hear of someone who's absolutely at fucking rock bottom, do you? Winning this stuff. That's what I want to see. I want to see the homeless woman outside Target winning the lottery. That's what I want. The people that actually could deserve a win like that. Do you know what I mean? If you've got a decent house, a roof over your head, money coming in, you're not that worried about paying the bills, you don't need it. Anyway. Yes, I do make these words up every so often, Wendy. But boys, Graham, she's a Sagittarius, December the 7th. Good. I don't like Sagittarians. I'm sorry. If you're a Sagittarius, I'm sorry. That's the thing. If you're a Sagittarian, let me know. Because there's got to be nice Sagittarians out there. AMK. I'm a Capricorn too. Born in January. Whoop, whoop. We're going to start a club. The Capricorn Club. I'm Boxing Day. And no one ever remembered my birthday. Funny that, isn't it? Oh, sorry. This is for Christmas and your birthday. Wendy, those cops out there must be dumb or lazy. Exactly. In New Jersey, a cop or half a dozen would have run her tag for absolutely no reason, let alone FTAR driving. My plate could not be attached because of the bolts and I got stopped Ubering like three times in a week. Expired tags, you cannot be serious. Loopy lorry. I know, she's Teflon coated. I keep telling people and nobody listens. Also, she needs to remove her moustache before showing off lip stuff. Now, how the F am I supposed to unsee that? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't now. That's it. That's the end for you. Like not shaving your armpits in a ball gown. Just saying. Peachy pink is not nude unless you're, you're yellow skinned. I think nude is supposed to be MLBB. I don't know what that means. Oh, my lips, but better. But someone think it is a shade darker than your skin. On me, that would look like rigor mortis. <laughs> I am, I want, I get. Here's the address where I am. Come harass me. Self-aggrandizing fake. Exactly. Oh, flake, yeah. I, I told the story before, but I bought this really pretty. I thought it was really nice. A lilac per, uh, lipstick once. And tried it on in the car while Jed was off getting something. And he came back and sat down and went, What the fuck have you got on? You look like a corpse. <laughs> I thought it was rather pretty. Anywho. It's like I've got, um, back in the day on Makeup Revolution, they had a friend's kit for sale. Buttons. And in it was, I've got it here. Uh, Joey's lipstick for men if you're familiar with friends I'm, I wasn't that familiar with friends anyway it's nearly finished now and it keeps melting and squidging about but this for some reason I love this on and you would think like a light blue would look terrible but for some reason I really like it and it's a really nice balm as well and I keep emailing them and saying can you make it again as something else do you know what i mean it doesn't have to have the friends tag on it but they won't judy birthday is first week of december usa's pearl harbor day you know she always lies about her weight you only need to see her older videos she's gained and gained she just posted a new video first of june claiming that will sent her food from two different stores she said that he had to shop two stores to find all the products she enjoys oh somebody needs to get hold of will wheel is a chubby chaser but what does he get out of it apart from feeding her deb it's not like he gets to to hug her or anything now that he's made a bigger i don't understand if you're married to somebody and you're feeding them up that's one thing but a total stranger on the internet that makes no sense to me deb this and the first weigh-in and measurement video was her attempt to go viral why is it with them they're all waiting to go viral 
She soon gained the weight back and more. Math is not her strong suit. Her floppy boobies should have a channel of their own. They debuted at a community cookout while doing the limbo. <laughs> and since then, she rarely wears a bra. Warning, it can be hilariously distracting. <laughs> Oh, I've got a... No, that's put a vision into my head that I don't want, Deb. Chuck, I believe this video is the only and only time she's lopped on a brassier in decades. I've got some like that. They're not very good. They're just comfy and they sort of hold you up, but they don't really do much. Deb, true. I was taken aback at the side. I wouldn't go, see, I wouldn't go on walking around in clothes, no. I mean, they're, if I let them now, I think my boobs could touch my ankles. I'm the same as, as slender, do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. You don't go on and show people, you th no. Alan, I prefer Raw and Vulnerable First Edition, October the 4th, 2020. She was wearing a not ready for prime time dingy pilled sports bra. Sports bras worn under clothing, they're too warm. Sports bras started as exercise wear, so you could wear just that plus pants, and they're still too hot. Give me a worn as simply perfect cool bra, and that's as good as they get. I would think that if she would like to keep those up rather than chafing her <laughs> midriff. I've just seen one, an advert for one on Instagram that shuts at the front because I can't do anything around the back now because my arms are buggered and it's got poppers and i'm tempted to get one of them to try just to to hold them to like corral them somewhere but i think it's a problem for all us oh well i've lost the weight but my boobs didn't lose any weight <sighs> shame really like i said madam said to me yours are really droopy and it's like oh your day will come <laughs> just because they're looking where they're going now doesn't mean that's what's always going to happen so if i look that up raw and vulnerable hang on because i didn't see there was a first one i just got that one october the 4th 2020 okay will you go away <laughs> Why are we going to go slow? Right, that's the first one, isn't it? Fourth of all, right. Do -do 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 Boom. I will keep hold of that. I think I've got a message from Mr. Jules. I will be back in a sec. Sorry, I pressed the button and I didn't see it was working. That's been added to the list. Thank you, Alan. Wendy, her nails grow like that. This is back to Lisa. I remember she did the self manny videos and she has nails like one of my friends, whereby mine curved down like talons. Well, she should keep them short then. They look stupid. What does your friend do? Does she continue to grow them and let them grow up? Because if you catch them on anything... See, it's all right for Lisa. She doesn't do anything. So there's no fear of her catching it on anything, is there? Wendy, a guy who claims to start out poor and work 60 hours weekly through college. Um, I never worked much. Kids did not work much. Yawn worked but apparently not that not hard labor and they double down on each other's scam stuff real biblical there aren't they though not to mention defacing your body exaggerating boobs and lips showing off at the pool and bosom out all over what exactly is this bible exactly she, she keeps i'm a christian no you're fucking not i'm sorry lynn jules you are just a charm enjoy you so much thank you so much lynn that's really sweet 
Deb, by saying she's childlike, she's insulting tens of thousands of children. I don't know any children this arrogant, inconsiderate or selfish. Exactly. Children have got more empathy in their little fucking finger than she's got in her entire lump of a body. Lifestyle with Taylor. I've lost £26 since January. Way to go, Taylor! And I weigh myself weekly, but I take more into account how I feel and look and the fact that I can fit into clothes. I haven't been able to do in a while as a better feat as opposed to the number on the scale. Yeah, the number on the scale is great. Do you know what I mean? If you were £170 or something, you get on in a week and you're 160 it's like, whoop, whoop, I'm doing something. Do you know what I mean? But to weigh yourself every single day, that's just ridiculous. Deb, congratulations, Tay. That's hard work and dedication. Where to go? It su surely is. Along with Chuck, we should give Chuck a mention as well. He's lost a load of weight. So congratulations to you both. Jules, you're awesome. Thank you for all the laughs. She has a fancy case for being down on her luck. Lol. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. It's so, I'm, all of you, you're all so sweet. All the the Glenda Brigade, as I'm calling you. Thank you so much for the interaction, for the comments, for for just being here. Taylor, she's gained about £20 in two years. She's gained a bit more. <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> 20 or too kind. Yeah, she looks like she's gained a bit more than that. Deb, Tiffany's right. Merle's packed on at least twice that. Those butterfinger blizzards and Dunkin' Donuts have taken a toll. See, that's the thing. If you've got a car and you can go to these drive throughs and get all this shite, then you're done for. With me, when I went keto, the, the first time I went keto, I'm a bit off the wagon at the moment and I will get back on in the next couple of weeks. But when I first decided to do keto, I'm stuck in this bedroom. So I told Jed, don't buy me anything, don't get me anything, don't do I'll ask you for what I want to eat and that's it. Now, I can't get out and get the stuff. So I lost the way. And I think people say, oh, you did so well. And it's like, yeah, but it was easy because I couldn't get the food. I wasn't doing the cooking. I'm not finishing what the kids don't eat. Do you know what I mean? I'm not out doing the shopping and buying stuff on the way home. So that I found it easy, but it's not easy. Not when you're living a life. It's really hard going. Boo the bee. Oh, no, 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 no. Lol. I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a sight we shouldn't have to see. Baddy one shoe. I love those American twilight sleep men. <laughs> Boo the bee. How old is her hoopty that it does not have a backup camera? She's very dangerous driver. Driver. Lol. Get nude. Please don't. Jules, you're hysterical. <laughs> Her hoopty was bought, it was a 50th birthday present, and she's now 60. God, I thought she'd had it longer than that. But all she ever goes on about the fact is it's, it's a limited edition and there was only 10 in America and blah, 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 blah. And it's a convertible and it's her essence work. MJ Brownlee, 4653, best friends with many influencers. Let's see, what did she say? best friends with so many of them what sets you apart what makes you different oh i'm not different to any of the other influencers well that says a lot doesn't it really do you know what i'd say if i was asked that question what sets you apart what makes you different i tell the truth nobody tells the truth anymore it's all a pack of fucking lies <laughs> i'm on my high horse again yeah bestie then you mean then you mean you replaced your old best friends or you had none she's such a weirdo that's the thing though she hasn't got any friends she's got a few influencers that she what does she say it's called i don't know fox she foxes with the, her uh, influencers and that's it talking about how what else they can link how good a lipstick is i'm sorry that's not friends boo the bee not that just about sums it up boo Zoe, in the States, the commercials and advertising for medication is constant. They're constantly pushing medications on us. Believe it or not, there's a new one now for a... No. How can a... T 
tablet make it not bent if it's naturally bent? There's lots of men that have got a bent willy. How does... I don't know. Yeah, I, I know you do though, don't you? Oh, Pfizer's jamming this thing down your throat. I suppose if you're listening to it over and over and over again, you would remember the names, wouldn't you? Whereas here we get nothing. No nothing. I don't know which is worse, to be honest. Chuck, I keep expecting to hear Onslow's voice yelling at you to bring him up. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm far more hyacinth than I am. What was her name? His wife. I caught Wheatner. Me and Jed call my mother-in-law hyacinth. Hyacinth Bouquet, Lady of the House. <laughs> Rachel, your astrological sign is determined at birth because it's the energy and time of the positioning of the sun, the moon and the stars. Even depending on the time of your birth will change your planet rising and the ruling house you belong to. Right. So I'm a definite Capricorn then. I wonder what I was going to be had I been born when I was due. I've never looked into it. It's really complicated with all the, the rising suns and moons and things. I get totally confused. But be interesting to know what my... If I went to someone who understands all of that and got it a thing written out. I looked into it years ago and then it was... It, after a while, it's like it starts going, ma, 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 and I don't take anything in. Use a quo. She sure seems larger than those measurements would suggest. Doesn't she, though? I wish I had her measuring tape. Tiffany, half-baked and scheming. If you ever watch Lisa, Lisa says she wakes up scheming and dreaming. What does that tell you about narcs? Use a quo. Why not colour the undersides of those arms, even with self-tanner, just to look even versus two-toned? Exactly. Might help. Wendy, love the musical segue there. Yet another talent unearthed. <laughs> Woman for all seasons, go Jules. Thank you. What musical segue was there? Was it the, the violin? <laughs> Susan, I don't even own a scale. I go by how my clothes fit. I have a pair of jeans and when they start getting tight, I know it's time to go on a diet. Yeah, those jeans. <laughs> Deb, Lardy is a store security clerk's worst nightmare, isn't she? Clerk, clerk. Helen, I don't know how I missed this one, but it's very welcome today after my hospital appointment and afternoon off. Thanks for making the, me laugh, Jules. Oh, she was a nightmare in that one. What were you... If you don't want to say, I totally understand, but I hope everything's okay, Helen. I love to learn. Aye, my arse, you do. <laughs> Anything that's simple to learn that she can do in a couple of hours on Skillshare, that she'll, that, that she'll do. But proper learning... It's the fake laugh that gets me. What does she need to get ready? What does she need to get ready in the house? She does nothing at all other than shop. I do more than her and I have an actual job. Fibromyalgia for 20 years and a disability. The way she tries to sound better than everyone else, especially when you don't have kids. What a vapid, empty-headed creature she is. She is totally... Oh, I love. <laughs> do 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 boop boo do 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 when Jed's up here, we dance to that. It's like the old folk dance, isn't it? Do -do 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 -do. Will Young, who I absolutely love, got a new single out. And there's a line in it that says something about walking past a shop window and thinking, how did I get that old? Oh, did that hit home today? It's like you're not that age in your head and you think you can do everything, like cleaning up coffee. And you can't, and it's sad. Where are we? The hair extensions are a bit much here. Oh, but she doesn't use extensions. Nobody believes you, Lisa. Never ever use the words vibey or yummy to describe clothes. Exactly. Wow, holy filter, Batman. She looks so different in the video inserts with the outfits. Doesn't even look like the same person. 
Love Peter K. Jules. Phoenix Knights was amazing, wasn't it? Baldy Bouncer. I was what there was a clip came up the other other day and I was watching it. You know when he got the uh, the car alarm. Get back, you bastards! <laughs> or break your legs. I love that. Sorry for all the comments. No problem, my dear. You comment away. But this video is comedy gold. The bathroom comment is hilarious. It's so she can run in, pee, and get out back to doing the shopping. Wigging out. Almost an hour to do that tiny amount of hair. And who would want a cop to copy that look? She gets so butt hurt by strangers. Exactly. What? Who gives a flying fuck what strangers think about you? I don't give a, a fuck what family think of me. Do you know what I mean? It's no, fuck off. I'm nearly 60. I'm entitled to feel the way I feel now. Leave me alone. Amanda, ombre. I know, she is though, isn't she? I know her legs are insane this year. Too dark. I wish she'd go back to her own nails. I can't take those fake ones. To be honest, many fake nails look awful. Rosie Huntington's also look weird. Oh, I think women with larger hands think it makes their hands look more feminine, but I'm not so sure. Patty Cakes in Texas. Love that name. Both outfits are hideous. She could have slept in that black top and black stretch pants. And those hammer pants were horrid too. Peg. That recently happened to me with the coffee. So tedious to clean up, isn't it though? But see, the thing was, had it been in a kitchen, that'd be fine. I could have swept the fucker up. But no, it's in my bedroom. So the majority of it went under the bed. The bed is a fucking super king. It weighs umpteen stone. I couldn't move the thing if I wanted to. So I'm trying to get my hand in under the that much of a gap under the bed to this because it's a divan and it's like for fuck's sake. So now I asked Jed and he's brought me a, a coffee tub with a lid on it that screws on. So thankfully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't do it again. Two was enough times for me. Elizabeth, yeah, it's comment time with a lovely jewel. <laughs> Thank you. Can't tap dance, but no problem with coffee at bedtime. <laughs> I used to tap dance. Not like I used to be a ballerina. I went to a few tap dancing lessons and I used to wear my tap shoes to the class and home and tap dance all the way home. I love tap. Every birthday I keep thinking I'm going to buy myself a pair of tap shoes. Then I can, if I get Jed to get make me like a wooden platformy thing, just a little one, about that high, and then I can put my shower stool on top of the wood and tap while I sit, that would be fun because I couldn't do it standing up. I'd probably do two minutes and pass out. James, love the way you express yourself. So funny and spot on hugs. He does express himself really well, doesn't he? Writes very nicely. MM, yay. I needed something to watch while I recover from the sickness that shall not be known. Oh, no, you haven't got that, have you? I hope it clears up soon, MM. It's a horrid thing. I had it and I hated it. And everyone's written you. Bo wished you feel better soon. Tammy. Ugh. She's such a horrid woman, isn't she? And she... Somebody, I don't... If Some of the newbies won't have heard... Because she kept going on and on and on and on and on about me. Somebody came over here and started watching my videos. And then they left a comment. And it was the best comment ever. She said, Lardy makes out you're the child of Christ, you're the child of Satan. She says, I came over here and you're quite nice, really. <laughs> Tammy, oh my God, thank you. I have a horrible time sleeping. I'm so going to use this tonight. I hope it helped, Tammy. Let me know, did it help? I'm going to do some more on uh, my other channel. With different sounds, like gardening sounds, you know, like with birds tweeting and things like that when I get round to it. And I've caught up with everything I need to do. Please, Jules, just call me Bo. Thank you. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time with your name. Bo it is. Matt, both Lardas and Lisa are so condescending, aren't they, though? 
Looking down their nose at us. How fucking dare they? Maya, Jules, I just love these commentary videos. Even though it's just you reading the comments, the way you do it feels like we're all in here together talking and laughing. You're the best, thank you. Bless you. I'm enjoying it as well. It's like a little coffee morning for us all, isn't it? Zoe, I play this game too. I love it. Cool. What way do you do it, Zoe? Because Jed just said to me, so I'll just put your video on. You have a curious way of doing it. And I'm like, why is it... I said, how do you do it then? And he said, like, he picks a square and he does the whole square and then he moves on to another square. And I said, yeah, sometimes I do that, but I just fancy doing it letter by letter. Do you have a, a specific way you play, Zoe? Bonnie, I look forward to your comment videos. There are so many smart and hilarious people on your channel, including you, Bonnie. Ugh, I sympathise about your coffee spilling. I'm like a bear with a sore head behind when I can't drink a cup. I bet it was a mess. It was. When checking on Mr. D.R., it might be under Dirty Dave. Hope you're doing well. Right, that bloke. Thank you. The light just went on. Christy. No, Chris. Chris Fry. I wanted someone to do this to LB so hard every time she moved. Push her back on the couch and say, lie down, lie down, lie down. All the while swatting at her. I'm hoping that's what will happen in the the sick home when she goes there. Because Burke's not going to look after her when she's old and useless. Angie. She could have said, let me end my live video. She could have. But she's rude. Kelly. Why does John put up with her not thinking of the children versus herself 24-7? Who knows? I've given up on John. I used to... Uh, well, I still do occasionally support him. But it's like, really? Grow a pair, man. Rebecca, why is this hate channel allowed? It's not a hate channel, Rebecca. It's a reaction channel. Read what it says on the... Um, about this channel thing. It'll tell you what this channel is. Susan, I get excited when I see a comments video. Cool. Wigging out. What the hell are we watching? Why, Glenda? Why? Lol, I'm a Capricorn too, Jules. Cool! There's a good few of us here now, isn't there? This is going to be so good for my bedtime routine tonight. Love it already. Cool, I hope it helped. Let me know if it helped. Carolina, how did I miss this? I've never seen it. Does Lisa have a different channel? No, she's just got the one. But she's got her Paymetron now as well. Wigging out. There's a difference between childlike and childish. She's extremely childish. And of course she gets excited about candy. It's something to shove into that every, that every hungry pie hole of hers. Of all the things to pick, I get excited about candy. Yeah, we know. The hands, skin and bone. Skeleton. Ooh. Then one of the things that what I had gone out there. What the fuck was that? I hate those whooshy noises that people put when they're editing, don't you? She does look like a skeleton, AMK. Jane. Nope, can't do it. She's like a damn ghost how she reappears. <laughs> Nobody has to watch everything. You just watch whatever takes your fancy. Wendy. Coffee makes the world go around the <laughs> That's not Funny, not money. My ex would get ex espresso after dinner once he had his business partner. Once he and his, his, his mm, business partner had two pots each. He was up for two days. Make mine an espresso martini, although after dinner coffee and dessert sounds divine. Yeah, I'm beginning to think about not having coffee because you can fucking contain tea leaves in a tea bag. If you drop the tea bags, that's great, but a whole fucking pot no bonnie this was a wonderful way to go to sleep last night i'll finish it tonight cool i'm glad it worked for you bonnie amanda that couldn't be less breakfast at tiffany's if it tried man she remember she rambles there needs to be someone with a cattle prod to speed her up i know she drives me mad oh let me back up no Jersey girl, why do narcs think so much of themselves? She's pathetic. I don't know. It's it's in their genes, isn't it? They all think they're amazing. 
and I don't understand what any of it. Do they not have mirrors? Do they see something completely different when they look in their mirror? I just don't get it. I've never seen anyone have so many interviews and never gets the job. Hannah. That MAC brush cleaner has alcohol as its third ingredient. Exactly. Why does she think the brushes dry so well? And will destroy your Sonia G brushes. You can only use that on synthetic brushes, didn't we? Oh, but she'll just get new Sonia G one sent to her, won't she? Happy anniversary. Feel better soon. Thank you, Jean. Happy anniversary. Many more to come. Take care of yourself and feel better soon. Thank you, Bonnie. Laura, happy anniversary to you both and sending prayers to you for God to help you feel better fast. Thank you, Laura. Thanks for sharing your beautiful photos with us. Just take care of yourself. You're all so kind. Demira, happy anniversary. Love the pictures. Thank you. Brenda, happy anniversary and hope you're feeling better soon. So do I, Brenda. <laughs> Just when I'm starting to feel human, the DWP pop the head round the corner. Raven, happy anniversary. Thank you, Raven. Susan, happy anniversary to the both of you. What a beautiful couple. Thank you. I'm so sorry you're not feeling well, Jules. Sending lots of love and warm hugs your way. Thank you so much. <laughs> Penelope, mum and dad, I'm sending love and healing vibes. Thank you. User PM, lovely couple. Thank you very much. Casey, happy anniversary. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Casey. Wendy, lovely. Congrats and many more years together. Missed your wit and humour, so please rest and take good care so you'll be back soon. Thank you, sweetie. Maddie, oh, Jules, I love your wedding photos, hun. Many congratulations to you and Jed. You look absolutely gorgeous. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. Steph, happy anniversary. Love you and your family. Many more happy years to come. Thank you. Calabria girl, happy anniversary. Whoop, whoop. Feel better soon. I'm loving all the, the emojis. Thank you. Christine, thank you. Happy anniversary. James, it reminds me when she puts something in front of the camera and then takes it away quickly. How is a man supposed to hear her mumbling? I love your necklaces when she keeps moving her face backwards and forwards. I oh, know. In a fucking... Right next to a road. In a fucking thingy, car parky thing. Do you know what I mean? Amen. Well, she does know her style. Twat. Angie, happy anniversary. Thank you, Angie. Jane, happy anniversary, you two. I hope you feel better soon, Jules. It's a bloody shame, this torture of an illness. Can't even have a day to celebrate your wedding anniversary. Eat cake, love you. Do you know we forgot to buy a cake after all of that? I said to Jed, where's the cake? We need to get one. I'm going to eat half a cake and then I might feel better. <laughs> User, ooh, happy anniversary. I hope you're feeling better soon. Thank you so much. Elizabeth, congratulations, my dear Jules. You look fabulous. Many more. Wonderful years to come. Hugs and kisses. Thank you, sweetie. T. Happy anniversary to the both of you. Wonderful pictures, Jules. You looked radiant and your husband's handsome. Feel better soon. We miss you. Thank you. I think he's handsome. K-Pops. This is terrifying. She could hit a small child crossing the road or anyone. It's awful. Exactly K-Pops, which is why I told her to drive fucking properly and she lost her shit with me. A wild as a a wild as a mot i'm sure i've got that wrong happy anniversary thank you very much melissa happy anniversary feel better thank you louis lose lose man happy anniversary thank you honey beautiful pictures happy anniversary thank you boo the bee oh happy anniversary Jules. thank you matt Oh, gorgeous photos. Happy anniversary. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you very much, Claire. Happy anniversary. Hope you feel better. Love. Thank you, Tabby. Mama Sita. Hi, Jules. There is only one thing that would make your superb reactions in this video even better if we were able to actually see you and your facial expressions and laughter. You're on fire. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Maya, happy anniversary. Thanks for sharing these beautiful pictures. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you. 
Right, let's just see. Was anyone on the naughty step? No. Nope. And has anybody else commented? No. Thank you, everybody. Now we've got to the end. If you've got to the end of me, thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next one.